than it tonight by Mobile One. Yesterday, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Juan Pablo Montoya were at Charlotte Motor Speedway to try their hand at a different type of racing. The two put their moves to the test as they tried their hands at drifting. Danielle Trotta was on hand to capture the action and chat with the drivers. We'll accelerate through the X, get on the brakes. As soon as the car points, lift off, snap on the throttle. We'll do a lift in the middle and rotate it back the other way. When drifting, you're judged on three criterias, line, angle, and speed. So the more aggressive your line is going in the corner, the more angle you carry in, and the more speed you carry in. How was it? It was a lot of fun. Uh, I was surprised at uh, how challenging it is, how hard it is. I knew it would be difficult, but you know, I'm used to driving a car in a line and, and to a place and around a corner, and it took a lot to understand really what I was, you know, how wrong I was doing it at first. So it, uh, but it, it's, it's really fun. Who is better, you or Dale? I think at the end we both did pretty good. Uh, I thought I started a little better, but yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. It's different backgrounds. With your open wheel experience, so I give you the edge, man. I mean, you're making it look easy. Yeah, once you get sideways, it's okay, but point where you want to go and get on the gas. <laughs> Under caution, Juan Pablo Montoya has crashed and gone aflame. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster up and down. We. We've just been off the truck way too off. You know, the car has been miles from where it needs to be, so I think we need to do a better job at that. But, you know, everybody, all the new guys in the target team, they work so hard, and, you know, all the mechanics and everything is pretty amazing what they do. It's just going to take some time, maybe. Yeah, I think we just, you know, once the car works, it's really fast. We run as fast as the leaders. We got the pace. It's just when you start so far off to get there, it's a lot of work. Here comes Harvick. He is there within a car length. Of Dale Jr.'s back bumper. Here it is. Got him. Outside. Outside. Jr. got loose down here in three and four. Open the door for Harvey. How often do you uh, allow yourself this week to start thinking about Martinsville and the run you had coming in there last year with Kevin? I was thinking about it when the race was over at California. I was ready to go to Martinsville right then. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying racing. And I, I'm enjoying being at the track. It's where I want to be most. And I can't say that's been the case uh, at certain points in my career, but right now, it's all I want to do is go to track, work with Steve, work on cars, practice, make laps, figure stuff out and learn things and get faster and compete. Well, we saw you come home third last week at Fontana, and it seems like you give a lot of credit to Stevie and, and the team. Do you allow yourself to take credit for the good run you guys are having so far this year? Well, I feel like, I, uh, you know, I feel like I'm a good race car driver and can get the job done, but I know that I can't do it without my team and I can't do it without, uh, without Steve, you know, and that was made aware to me a long time ago, but uh, uh, the thing that reminded me of that was when we made the swap and we started working together and started working together well, and I understood how important he was to my success or, or the car's success. And So I just want him to know how much I appreciate it, so I give him the credit in the interviews, and he deserves it. The team deserves it. I've been the same driver all my career, and I've been proved over the last couple of years, so some component that was changed has made that happen, and that would be the crew chief and the team. You know, so. I got to give the credit where credit's due. Casey Kane is back. I'm curious, have you ever done it?